Hasan Boyd Usmatov Ayba Kamar uchun jang qiladi. Sana raqib va manzil ma'lum bo'ldi. Assalomu alaykum. Shun bola TV kanalining qaddi baland qadrdon akalari. Akalarim sizlar uchun bomba videolik tayyorladim. Shu kichkinagina mehnatimizni qadrlagan holda shu videolikimizga bir dona like bosib qo'ying. Hali hanuz kanalimizga obuna bo'lmagan bo'lsangiz, Fight Tesla bilan qo'ng'iroq tugmasini bosib qo'ying. Ha, aytgancha videolikimizga like bosish mutlaqo bepul. Professional boksda mag'lubiyatsiz odimlayotgan Charm Qolqop ustamiz Hasan Boyd Usmatovning navbatdagi jang sanasi manzili va raqibi ma'lum bo'ldi. Unga ko'ra Dosmatov 2024-yilning 13-yanvar kuni Xorvatiya poytaxti Zagreb shahrida tashkil etiladigan AIBA chempionlar oqshom turnir daringa ko'tariladi. Hamyurtimiz Hasan Boyd Usmatovning raqibi ispaniyalik Samuel Carmona bo'ladi. Ikki bokschi kecha Dubaydagi AIBA chempionlar oqshomida 100-100 kelishdi. AIBA Kamaru uchun kechadigan jangning pesifis marosimini ikki vaznda sobiq UFC chempioni Conor McGregor o'tkazib berdi. Ma'lumot uchun Carmona Hasan Boyd chempion bo'lgan Rio 2016 olimpiadasining ishtirokchisi hisoblanadi. O'shanda Hasan Boyd Usmatov 49 kg vaznda chempionlik kerishgan bo'lsa, Carmona bir tur finalda kolumbiyalik Yubrenhin Martinezga o'tkazib qo'ygandi. Inshaalloh AIBA chempionlik kamarini O'zbekistonga olib kelaman dedi Hasan Boyd Usmatov. Shun bola TV kanalining qaddi baland qadrdon akalari qani Hasan Boyd Usmatov ham yurtimizni qo'llab-quvvatlab olg'a Hasan Boyd yoki olg'a O'zbekiston deb kommentariyada qo'llab-quvvatlab yozib qo'ying. Hammani qiziqtirgan savol bu jangni qayerdan jonli efir ko'rsam bo'ladi deb o'ylanib o'tirgan akalarim o'ylanishga hojat yo'q. Ekraningizda ko'rib turgan Telegram manzili orqali o'ting va Hasan Boyd Usmatov chempionlik jangini jonli efirda bepul tomosha qiling. Aziz va qadrli obunachilar, nima bo'lganda ham ham yurtimiz Hasan Boyd Usmatov ga omad tilagan holda videorolikimiz yakunlasa, agarda sizga videorolikingiz ma'qul kelgan bo'lsa, Hasan Boyd Usmatovning zarbasi kabi bitta mushni like bosib qo'ying. Hali hanuz kanalimizga obuna bo'lmagan bo'lsangiz, payt pisasi bilan qo'ng'iroq tugmasini bosib qo'ying. Kelgusi videorolikda ko'rishguncha salomat bo'ling. Bilamiz ki sport o'yinlariga qiziqadigan akalarimiz kanalimizda juda ko'p. Sizlar uchun ishonchli omad silkasini kommentariyada qoldirdim. Omad silkasi orqali o'tib bir qancha sport o'yinlaridan pul ishlab oling. Saytga o'tib ro'yxatdan o'ting, hisobingizni xohlagan summaga to'ldiring va sizga va'da qilingan 3 million so'mni qo'lga kiriting. Representing Uzbekistan, Hasan Boy Dusmato. At this match of the reigning World champion won gold in Tashkent, winning by stoppage against Bilal Banama in the first round. Caught it with a lovely left hand, put him down, and the referee waved it over. That was his third World Championship gold. He won Olympic gold in 2017, and has won three Asian Championships as well. Ey, assalomu alaykum. Shun bola TV kanalining akavukalari. Mana hozirgi videoda Hasan Boyd Usmatov jangini to'liq holda ko'rishlaring mumkin. Akalar mehnatimizni qadrlagan holda shu videorolikka bir dona like bosib, kanalimizga obuna bo'lmagan bo'lsangiz, podpisatsiya bilan qo'ng'iroq tugmasini bosib qo'ying. Sizlar uchun bu 1 sekundlik ish, biz uchun esa katta yutuq. Akalarim, bir dona like bilan podpisatsiyani ayamaysizlar umiddaman kommentariyani portatvoringizlar Hasan Boyga omad tilab qo'yinglar. Algeria and Korea and when all the action begins your female referee in charge of the ring by the bell representing the IBA by way of Kyrgyzstan with referee Jamila Borkoeva and now ladies and gentlemen please put your hands together as you welcome our first fighting out of the black corner tonight he weighed in officially at 50.80 kg here is the former 2022 EUBC flyweight champion of the world and the current 2023 IBM men's flyweight bronze medalist ladies and gentlemen damas y caballeros representando des españa martin molina salvador and now inches his opponent fighting out of the gold corner Ladies and gentlemen, here is a southpaw fighter standing at a height of 160 centimeters tall, weighing officially at 51 kgs on the dot. He is the former 2013 gold medalist Olympian, the former three-time ASBC Life Flyweight Champion, and the current reigning 2023 IBM Men's Flyweight Champion of the World. Ladies and gentlemen, Hurmatali Khanamlarva Janoplan, Kushkalip says lot, is on the John, Uzbekistan, Hassan boy, Deuce Mato! Our fighters are ready. Referee Jamila Borkoeva will now be giving her final instructions to the boxers. Listen to me. Head up. No holding. No low blow. Listen to me. Good luck.
Rossiyadagi vatandoshlarimizni diqqatiga reklama emas tavsiya bermoqchiman. Agar da siz Rossiyadan turib yaqinlaringizga eng zo'r kursda pul yubormoqchi bo'lsangiz, unda sizlarga Tespay ilovasini tavsiya etaman. Tespay orqali siz Rossiyadan turib yaqinlaringizni o'z kartiga, Humo kartasiga, Gazsu svetlariga, telefonlariga va internet provayderlariga eng zo'r kursda pul yuborishingiz mumkin. Tespay ilovasini Play Market va App Store'dan yuklab oling va yaqinlaringizni xursand qiling. Siz ham bir ishlatib ko'ring, hali bizga rahmat Matayitas. So five three minute rounds between these two. Just mart off in the white there. Molina in the black. There's a lot of good fights on tonight, and this is one of them because Molina, generally speaking, doesn't mess around. But that might play into Desmartov's hands. He's had an interesting time of it in Iber boxing recently, just smart off. He's 5-0 as a pro. Didn't go to the 2019 World Championships because he turned professional. Won gold in Rio, as I said, in 2016. Then at the World Championships in Hamburg in 2017. Didn't attempt to qualify for Tokyo. Then we saw him a couple of months later in Belgrade in the World Championships, where there was no seeding. It was an unusual tournament, being straight off the back of an Olympics, which obviously normally never happens. Because the World Championships these days are held in odd years, and the Olympics are not. And in the first round, he had Sakan Bibosinov of Kazakhstan and lost that fight. Bibosinov went on to win gold as a really, really good fighter. So that was a tough, tough draw, but it just showed you cannot just dive back into this code of boxing and expect to pick it straight back up. It takes time to get used to it again. The only person who's managed to flip between the two with serious success is Bakadir Jalolov, and he is the exception, really, that proves the rule. I believe he's now got his sights set firmly on the pros. Long left hand to the body there from Dozmatov. Another Uzbek fighter, actually, in that 2021 World Champs. Uh, a decorated amateur from days gone by with Shakram Gyasov. And he had his head jabbed off by Aslanbek Shimburganov in his first fight. So, again, he drew a Kazakh. Again, it was a hard draw, but it just showed. Just proved that point I was making previously. This has been a good opening round between these two. And not too much in it. As I said, Molina doesn't hang around, looking to try and put those punches together. Right hand into the body there from Desmartov. Molina switching his feet almost as he came in there. Leads off into that left hook. Desmartov had the glove up where it needed to be and then scored to the body. He's having most of his success to the body, Desmartov, but Molina just rattled off a nice combination there as he made the smart off just reach a bit for that long left hand weight came forward the body was open this is high level stuff between these two as it was always likely to be just short with the right hand there Molina the smart of it slip Molina's just got to find a way of identifying some chinks in that defense because Although he was nice and busy in that first round and got plenty of punches off. And he did score with a couple to the body particularly. And with a left hand up top. Hitting gloves. Looks good, but there we go with a left hand again from the smart off. And the referee says no knockdown. There was a lead right hand actually that landed first. A right hook landed first as he pulled back then through that right hook. Then he threw the left hand and maybe it was a tangle of feet that saw Molina go down. but. Nevertheless, that was a very, very slick bit of boxing from Desmartov. The, the right hand counter, the right hook counter that he landed was superb. It goes with the left hand up top there. And he's just beginning to click through the gears a bit here, Desmartov, which is ominous for Molina. Desmartov again just scoring to the body as Molina comes in. 
And again, just banging left and right. And Molina, I think, felt a couple of them. Then there's a the left hand that he switches up to the head. And Desmartov putting on a little bit of a show here in round two when we're only halfway through it. Uzbekistan winning five gold medals at that recent Men's World Championships. That wasn't a great surprise. They're always very, very strong. And when you're on home turf as well, it was pretty much full every day, the arena, which is unusual. Into the final minute of round two. And there's that left hand again. Diffed up to his right hand side and through it. He's just got so much variety, does Martov. He finds those angles. Molina, though, not deterred. Still trying to get something done here. He's a good fighter. He's just in with someone here who is exceptional, really. There's that counter right hand again. Comes from low and just explodes up on the chin. Molina getting in nice and tight. Got the left hand off to the body. Has come back into it more towards the end of the round. But partly I think because Dusmatov, having put a lot into the opening two minutes has just eased back on the gas a touch. But looking to to finish strong <laughs> win it 10-8 that's not the case in either boxing it's about interpreting dominance and you can score a 10-8 and judges often do without any knockdowns 10-9 10-8 10-7 you can score the rounds. They used to have 10-6 available, but the reality is that if you win around 10-6, then the referee's got to be stopping the fight at that point, really. Nice left hand into the body there from Dusmartov, but that was a quality combination to put Molina down. And it should have been it should have been signaled a knockdown. And Molina's still trying to set about Dusmartov. Took a little step off to the right-hand side there as he got him caught on the ropes and then threw the left hand straight down the middle. That's the kind of thing he's going to have to try and do. Just see if he can vary the angle a bit. When the punches are coming in from orthodox start points, then Desmartov manages to protect body and head really pretty effectively. And he's thrown plenty, Molina, but again, most of it is getting caught on gloves. He really does commit to his attacks, though, the Spaniard. There's that left hand, though, into the pit of the stomach there from Desmartov, and Molina... Not showing any ill effects, but again, just gets tagged on the chin there by a lead right uppercut. You would describe that as, I think, from Dusmartov. I mentioned earlier the, the variety that he's got. Roy Jones watching at ringside, I'm sure, will be very, very impressed by this. This is just the kind of flair that he would enjoy. And the consistency of it as well, you can see all the work that has been done over a long, long period of time to just grind these instincts into him. Molina though does well there, just dips off to his left, finds that left hand into the body and he's going with the smart off work rate wise. Every now and again, he gets hit with one to the body that just makes me wonder whether He's just wilted slightly, but it hasn't proved to be the case. He's sticking to the task here, not allowing himself to get 
demoralised in any way. Swapping left hands on the inside again there. And Molina will be three rounds down on the judges' scorecards. Don't think there's any doubt about that. This has been competitive though, as you would expect between a gold medalist and a bronze medalist from the recent World Championships. Right hand there from Molina, just taken on the elbow on the forearm by De Smartov. He then comes up with that left hand. Another left hand this time. Just came in off the angle. It wasn't straight, it wasn't a hook either. He just kind of arced it in round the back of the right glove of Molina. And there's that lead right hook. He's on you all the time to smart of as well. That front foot is always there, just taking your space. Good combination again there from Leo Speck. Left followed by a right. And there's that uppercut followed by the right hook. And that is quality, quality work. Right uppercut and then went up top with the hook. And that's four clean headshots he caught Molina with there in the spell of about ten seconds maybe but he hasn't blinked once and again climbs into a big left hand but it's taken on the gloves there from Desmarto Is that step up to the right hand side again there from Molina? He's got Desmartov in the corner. And I do think that's a good plan. You've got to try something a little bit different with this guy because otherwise he sees you coming. He lost his balance there, Desmartov. That's quite rare. Throwing that left hand, he came over the top of that front foot, and Molina just scored with a couple into the body there. And he's trying to push Desmartov all the way here. Set four. It's a real soul sap of the uppercut. From what fighters tell you, it just cannons into the bottom of your chin, snaps your head back. As I say, you don't really have a chance to ground yourself for it. There's that left hand from Desmartov. who will look to try and finish strong here, I'm sure. He's four rounds to nil up. It's just a case of whether any of the judges have found any 10-8s for him. I wouldn't have given any myself because I think Molina has always been competitive here he's been on the receiving end and he's losing the fight he's going to lose the fight unless he knocks Desmartov out here but he's been full of energy full of industry There's that left hand, just chopping down with it that time. And this has been boxing at a terrific tempo. A longer duration than these guys are, are used to in either boxing. They've both boxed at WSB before, but a while ago now. And as I said, 
It is intense up there. It always is underneath the lights, but it's going to be well over 100 degrees in that ring. Absolutely no question about it. right hand there from Desmarto. Molina was aiming his own and he's just got the quicker hands here, the Uzbek. He's just a better fighter in all departments. And there's no shame in that for Martin Molina. He lands a good solid left hand into the body. He's just kept pushing and pushing and pushing right up until the very end here. And there from Dusmatov just threw it as he was falling almost away to his right hand side. Final few seconds of what's been a thoroughly enjoyable contest. Dusmatov's going to win this five rounds to nil with all five judges. I'm pretty confident. Joining our IB ambassador on stage with Ms. Zaina Nasser, the official championship matchup belt for the men's flyweight 51 kg division this bout and its official scorecard will crown the pound for pound undisputed champion of the ring in the men's flyweight category without further ado ladies and gentlemen all your judges have seen it the same way ruling in favor of your winner by points declared by unanimous decision and new pound for pound